Welcome, first graders. You are going to listen to a story, a fiction story called Jabari Jumps. The author and illustrator is Gia Cornwall. So she drew the pictures and she wrote the words. We're also going to practice being a character camel in this story as well. All right, it's time for our story, Jabari Jumps. The author is Gia Cornwall and the illustrator is also Gia Cornwall. She wrote the words and drew the pictures. Enjoy the story. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, and I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They sprang their arms and bent their knees and up, 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 and then dove down, down, down. Splash looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay, called his dad? I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loves surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hairs right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up, he began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went and then back up, whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. All right, first graders, that's the end of our story, Jabari Jumps. You are going to go on to Seesaw and you're going to listen to the voice instructions and complete the activities about the story Jabari Jumps. Can't wait to see your work.